The value in millions of dollars of transactions processed by an online payment platform is modeled by the function M. The value is expected to increase by 6.1% each quarter of a year, interesting wording there, at time t equals zero years, $54 million, my net worth of transactions were processed. If t is measured in years, which of the following is an expression for m of t, a quarter is one fourth of the year, just in case you didn't know. So this screams compounded interest. And the compounded interest formula is this. The amount that you have equals P, which stands for the principal, your initial amount, times one plus the rate written as a percent over the number of times compounded in a year to the number of times compounded in the year, again, times T is your time in years, okay? Principal, the amount of money that you start out with, rate as a decimal, N is number of times compounded in a year, T is time in years. What do we know? We want to call A, M of T, so that's thing number one. Principal is $54 million, but it looks to me that they don't want us to write it out in millions of dollars. In fact, it says that somewhere here. Um, so we're just going to call P54. One plus. It's going to be interesting. The rate is 6.1% each quarter of the year. If it didn't say quarter of the, we would say, you know, 61% over four. But since it mentions quarter of a year, we're pretending that that N isn't there. I'm not a fan, but that's obviously what it wants us to do. Now, if you're like, well, I divided by four anyway, that's fine. You'll realize that that's not what you want after I use the numbers that we're supposed to use. By the way, I'm using 0.061 because it's 6.1%. Uh, that is being taken to the N, which is the number of times compounded in a year, four times T, which we don't know. Okay. When I combine everything, M of T, is going to equal 54. 1 plus 0 0.061 is 1 1.061 to the 4t, which is you. Again, I would look at this problem and probably not even realize about that O n kind of being, or over n being useless until I got to this point here. And then I would be like, well, why aren't all of these different? Well, because they decided to make the wording different. But other than that being the weird part, it was a pretty straightforward problem. So there you have it, compounded interest. An interesting problem indeed. <laughs> no. Uh, like and subscribe.